Right, we're here on the uh, Trim's player with uh, uh, an ebullient gaffer after a, a very, well, you would class that as a, a hard earned point against Steve Nidge at home. We drew against him uh, one all a few weeks ago and uh, nothing's really changed, has it, to be honest? No, tough game, you know, Steve Nidge had on a, a decent run at the minute. Just won the last three, we knew it was going to be a tough game. Uh, but I think it was slightly lacklustre today, if I'm perfectly honest. I think the first 15 we were poor, it was a bit drab. I think after that, next 15, we played some good stuff. We got the penalty. If we would have got the goal, I think it would have lifted everyone, the crowd. I think the players' momentum, you know, uh, would have kicked on and confidence. Um, you know, as we all know, goals change games. But uh, as I say, I think 15, uh, 15 to 30, we were okay. And then 30 to 45 is a little bit up and down. You know, Scott's had to make a, a save on a, a wide angle one on one, and obviously the uh, the save he made from Charles the header yeah. was a good one. But uh, a little nibble at half time. I don't think we won, won enough first balls, first headers, uh, first half. You know, looking at it, we were a bit more powerful than them. But they had the upper hand with regards to aerial battles and tackles yeah. uh, and winning second balls, which was disappointing. Um, yeah, got some of the key players into positions at times and. And did some okay stuff, just that final little bit. But we created chances. I think we created more than what they did. Uh, second half come out and it just, you know, again, I don't think Scott's made many saves. I don't no. think their keepers made many saves. Um, you know, we tried. We tried to change the formation. You know, we uh, we took a centre half off and put a forward on because uh, it didn't look like we were going to create anything. Because uh, they well drilled, they defended well, but I think we did as well. So there was positives. I mean. You know, Sean Beery, I thought it was excellent. You know, Lawrence Wilson's had a bit of a, an injury, he's only trained yesterday. Uh, he come through 90. Um, as I say, clean sheet, strong, we're hard to beat. I think the thing is now, where, where teams have come here, the likes of Luton, Berry, maybe, you know, come, they're the fancied sides and they come and they, they have a go and they try and win the game and it becomes a bit, bit of a better football match. You know, we yeah. exploit spaces and pockets and gaps that they leave open um, yeah. you know, and we seem to do better against the bigger sides but when teams like say Carlisle come the other day in a 4-5-1 formation and you know these are very similar 4-4-1-1 you yeah. know with Charlie Lee in the hole and um, they drop in and I just don't think it, it makes for a great game so it's testament to us how far we've probably come that we're hard to beat and yeah. we're a decent enough side but now we've just got to make you know football's about problem solving and now we've got to solve a problem that when we do come up against teams like this uh, or any team that's going to show a different formation or a diff different tactic we've got to be able to you know say right here's a problem we've got to solve and how are we going to do it we've got to maybe do this or that and or, you yeah. know and, and, and that's our only gripe with the minute is that we're not probably just doing enough um, in the final third with regards to creating chances Happy with the point? I think with that performance we've got to be uh... The gaffer's in there, he's disappointed. I think with the way we started the game, uh, was disappointing. But I thought, to be fair, Stephen is came to do a job, stop us playing, and they succeeded in that. I think if obviously the penalty goes in, it's a different game because they've got to come out. But um, it is what it is, they've, they've, they've come to a game plan and stuck to it, and a fair placement for that. Uh, but maybe in my first couple of games here, would have been beat there. Yeah. Um, so that's a positive. Yeah, true. Um, we've kept a clean sheet. So. Yeah, that's another one. We, uh, Gaffer was just saying we've had nine clean sheets already, which is yeah. pretty good. Yeah. And obviously, part of that's obviously down to you, being the uh, custodian. You've had a, uh, you've had a pretty good time here. I know you've uh, you've gone on record and said you obviously feel like it's part of home because you were here for quite a while uh, when we were at Christie Park and obviously Wembley Hero and all that. But um, yeah, that, what's the future hold? That that what will be will be. Um, obviously, I love the manager. He's a good friend of mine. I love the goalie coach. I love the club, the fans have been brilliant with me and I think at the stage of the career I was in and, and, and what's gone on at Fleetwood it was it was a perfect situation for me. Um, to come somewhere where I was appreciated and, and hopefully I, I like to think I've, I've repaid the fans in some way and the manager's faith. Um, but like I say, what will be will be. Um, but I've enjoyed every minute and it was it's definitely been the, the best thing that I could have possibly done. It's it's tough, you know, you know and I know, I think Scott Davis has been like exceptional since he's been here. Yeah. You know, and for us to kick on, I think it's key that we, we keep him. But, you know, I haven't got an open checkbook. You know, I, I want to keep him. He wants to stay. You know, Fleetwood have got a number one at the minute. Scott doesn't really want to go back there and sit on the bench. Um, so, it's all the right boxes, but unless one of us wins the uh, lottery. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's not, it's, you know, he's been great. He's been superb. I love him to bits anyway. He's, yeah. You know, he's a good teammate when we played, and I've, I've really enjoyed him. 
seeing how he's developed and gone on in his career and uh, you know when Baz went down we were always going to need two keepers. I've got full trust in Andreas as well but I think he'll appreciate that Scott's come in and he's been excellent yeah. you know and uh, you know as I say it is what it is we want to keep him but um, you know what you do it's it's frustrating but we've got to make sure that we balance books and yeah. So the only way we're going to do it is maybe if one or one two go, one or two might come in, and that's the only business we'll be doing in the uh, in the in the January window.